Ephesians 2 verse 10 says, It is God Himself who has made us what we are and given us new lives from Christ Jesus. And long ages ago, He planned that we should spend these lives in helping others. Have you ever wondered why God doesn't just take us into heaven right when we become Christians? The answer for this is simple. We still have a purpose on this earth, and that purpose is to serve Him. When God created you, He had in mind the good works you would do. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 10b, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So whenever we serve, we are fulfilling what God created us for. However, we were not just created to serve God, we were saved to serve God. 2 Timothy 1 verse 9 says, He has saved us and called us into a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of His own purpose and grace. This holy life that all Christians are called to is one of service. This is another reason why we need to be connected to a church family, so we can serve other believers in practical ways. Serving is the opposite of our natural inclination. Most of the time, we are more interested in being served rather than serving others. We say things like, I'm looking for a church that meets my needs, instead of, I'm looking for a place to serve and be a blessing. The mature follower of Jesus stops asking, who can meet my need? And starts asking, whose needs can I meet? At the end of our lives on earth, we will stand before God and be evaluated on how well we serve others with our life. At that point, all our excuses for self-centeredness will be hollow and we will have nothing to say. Each of us is going to give his or her life for something. What will it be? God wants to use us to make a difference in his world. In the end, what matters is not how long you've lived, but how you lived. If you're not involved in any service or ministry, what excuse have you been using? Abraham was old, Jacob was insecure, Leah was unattractive, Joseph was abused, Moses stuttered, Gideon was poor, Samson was codependent, Rahab was immoral, David had an affair, Jeremiah was depressed, Jonah was reluctant, Naomi was a widow, John the Baptist was eccentric, Peter was impulsive and hot-tempered, Martha worried a lot, the Samaritan woman had several ma failed marriages, Zacchaeus was unpopular, Thomas had doubts, Paul had poor health, and Timothy was timid. But God still used them. And if God used all these people for His purpose, He can use you too. We just have to stop making excuses and just go serve. Think about this. Our service to God is not optional. Remember this verse, for we are God's worksmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared us in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10. What is holding you back from accepting God's call to serve Him?